If you started learning animation in Blender for some time, I'm sure you're familiar with Rugify. It is a very easy to use, free and very powerful rig add-on that works especially great for humanoid rigs. But unfortunately, Rigify is not very compatible with games. The problem comes from how Rigify structured its bones, has a lot of extra bones, as well as some Blender-specific bendy bones. If you try to use Rigify as it is, you'll get an armature with dozens of empty bones that will just unnecessarily slow down your game. Blender can export only the farm bones to get rid of those, but some deformed bones are parented to control rig bones, which can cause some problems as well. For example, with this strange hierarchy of bones, it's impossible to convert the animation to humanoid rig, it simply won't accept a head bone that is not parented to the spine. So here's a couple of ways you can very easily solve this problem and make your rig fight rigs game ready. The first solution is to use one very unknown feature of rig fight, feature sets. This lets you expand rig fight bone sets and add new armature types. The game rig feature set will let you create bones that are compatible with game engines. Use the link in the description, click on releases, and download the source code zip file. On Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and search for Refi. In here, click on the Add Feature Set and select the file you just downloaded. After doing that, a new rig type should appear when creating armatures. Add a new game human or game basic human, and let's quickly set up the rig for our character. The game rig works just like the usual rig fight rig, but behind the scenes, it has all the proper bone structures that a game needs. After setting the bones to the correct positions, make sure the scale is properly applied. Then, select the data panel and you will see a new Generate Game Rig button under Rigify. Click it and it will create the control rig just like normal Rigify rigs. Let's hide the original armature. Select both model and rig, press Ctrl P to parent and select automatic weights. Now in pose mode, you can start animating. It has all the same functionality and works just like at the original Rigify rig. Looking at the different bones, you can see that it is properly structured like at game engine expected. Let's go into the Animation tab and quickly create a test animation. Select the Action Editor and create a new action. Add a few random keyframes just to test the animation. Now, let's go back and export our character. To export to the game, select both the character and the rig. Drag Select or right-click the rig and select Hierarchy. Go to File, Export, FBX. Check selected objects and make sure you are exporting both the mesh and the armature. Check Apply Transform to fix rotations and scales for Unity. And under Armature, make sure the option Only Deform Bones is checked, so only the bones affecting meshes are exported. Disable Add Leaf Bones, as this will create new bones that aren't needed for game engines. Leave Bake Animations enabled and disable NLA Strips. With all that done, click on Export FBX. Add the FBX to your game and you can already see the animation working. Let's loop this pose and add the character to our scene. Adding the animation to the object, we also create an animator. You can see the animation working while playing the game now. With this game rig, you can also use humanoid animations. But playing the animation now will show a weird behavior, where the hips don't move. To fix this, go back to the rig tab and click configure. For some reason, Unity gets the hip bone wrong and uses the root bone instead. Drag the death spine bone into the hips to replace it. Then hit apply. And that should fix the animation. I'll bake the root motion to the animation. And now you can use the humanoid type animations. Just remember to add the created humanoid avatar to the animator component for it to work. Now we have humanoid animations working. The other solution uses a Blender add-on called Rigify to Unity. Click on code and click on the long zip to get the add-on. In Blender, go to Edit, Preferences and click Install on the add-on tab. Select the file just downloaded to install the add-on. Now, you should be able to see a new button appear when selecting normal Rigify control rigs. Let's select the bone layer that shows our deformed bones, so we can see the changes happening. 
click the Prepare Rig for Unity button. As you can see, this will simplify some of the bones, turning the four bone arm and legs into two bone limbs. It will also fix the deformed bone structures to be compatible with games, just like the previous solution. Beware that this will likely break your weight pattern if you had one. So it is recommended to just reparent it with automatic weights and redo it. Now you can make your animations and export it just like before. And that's it! Now we can use rig fire rig animations to export game characters. I hope this video helped, and until next time!